are in a crisis now. It's a health and economic crisis. So there are things that with, with, within your control and there are things not within your control. So yung pagbili ng bahay is also within your control. So yung mga news na nakikita nyo, wala ka naman magagawa doon kung ilan ng uh, COVID today, kahapon, wala ka magagawa doon eh. But planning your life is something that you have to do it. Good evening, good evening. Welcome to Peace Abilities here in CBRC.tv. I'm your host, Arman Benko of the Kolaiko Foundation and KSK SMP Co-op. Maganda magandang araw sa inyo lahat, saan man kayo sa mundo, nanonood. This is the new medium, the new TV, the new broadcasting, CBRC.tv, the virtual space of the future today. Very excited for the program tonight. One of the uh, biggest expense item one would not like is hospital or medical related expenses. Magastos yan, magkasakit, lalo na sa panahon ngayon. Pero, one kind of expense that one may want, like, or even love Lalo na ngayon na natuturuan tayo to stay at home, biggest expense item one may want, like, or even love is buying our first home, new home, next home, retirement, vacation home, or simply put, real estate related, lalo na for personal use. I am not an expert at this, so kuha tayo ng expert uh, from our own backyard. Nandito na. Kasama natin sa CBRC.TV Our guest also has her TV program here in CBRC.TV One of our generous and real supporters The President and the CEO din ba of Real Estate Hub Dr. Mary Gao So, Dr. Mary, Mary Good evening Hi Arman, good evening Good evening good to evening. all your viewers and uh Thank you for giving me this chance to be your guest tonight, Arman. And I'm yes, so happy oh. from Peaceability, kung ano ba mabibili nating piso sa lupa, no? medyo natagalan na ako mag-isip doon. Uh, okay. And I'm so happy that uh, we can have this chance together, no, Arman, to yes. share to all your viewers about uh, things on real estate, which is one of the basic, alam naman natin, food, shelter, clothing, yan ang mga basic in necessity natin. And uh, for tonight, uh, I'm happy to share since I've been in this business for the past 25 years. Uh, I'm excited with uh, tonight topic, buying your next next home. Alam naman natin, no? Lahat tayo, uh, we wanted security. When I say security, ayaw natin yun. Nagre-rent lang tayo. Uh, wala tayong piso kung mag increase na naman si Lesor, papaalisin tayo ni Lesor. So, maybe it's about time. It's a wake-up call for everyone that uh, everyone should come up with their plan. No, It can start from a short-term plan, medium-term plan, and long-term plan until you reach what is your goal. So, for buying your home, uh, nabanggit nga ni Arma, no? I've been in this business, no? Uh, our company, Rehab, in my hometown. I hold eight licenses. No, I'm a broker, appraiser, consultant. Certified International Property Specialist and I'm also a professor sa uh, Trinity University. No, I used to be a professor doon and uh, sa BS Rem and also sa Lasal, no? St. Benilde, no? So, again, uh, we can share a lot of things. So, for first-time home buyers, no, isipin natin. So, lahat yan may first time. Alam naman natin sometimes uh, it's a big decision to be made, no? But again, it's a um, it should be well planned kasi you cannot be at the middle of the ano you cannot sustain yung monthly mo or yung payment mo or whatever terms terms you prefer after the first time syempre may first time parati and of course there's a second uh, home no syempre ayo naman natin kunyari nag-start ka ng condo it's a good start 
importante you start something. After you start to get a condo or a small apartment, no, that you purchase, walang ano don. There's nothing wrong, and you should be proud of that. Then, siempre there's a need assessment. Lumalaki yung family, nagkakaanak, no. So, merong kailangan na mag-expand. Di naman kayo pwede sa one room lang. So that 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 will come along the way without any ano. Hindi uh, hindi naman natin pwedeng ma pigilan yon so syempre liliit yung size so pupunta ka ngayon magpo-purchase ka na second home mo yan yung sinasabi natin then of course pwede kang may retirement home ka na join pwede naman kayong retirement home na sarili mo lang yung tipong gusto mo nang sa probinsya ka lang meron ka sarili mong lifestyle gusto mo medyo uh, wala ka na sa stress no na mga araw-araw na pinagkakaabalahan mo sa Manila no so you can go outskirt no pwedeng provincial pwedeng other places And I believe that uh, all of us our, has our own personal preference. So, walang tama at mali yun. Hindi ko pwedeng sabihin mali yun. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin tama yun. Kasi it's always, there's a need assessment. So, ano bang lifestyle mo? Ano ba yung ugali mo? Ano ba yung medyo hilig mo? No? So, sampung tao, sampung magkakaiba yan. So, it's always a sweet and sad story of different things. So, you have to juggle around. You have to checklist. You have to come up with your planning with your family. No, so come up with a decision. Ang mahirap diyan if you're not deciding. Lang sa umaga kailangan ka na magdesisyon kung maliligo ka muna, wag ka mo cellphone mo. Pero pinakaunang tamang gawin natin every morning is of course pagising natin, magpasalamat tayo sa Panginoon Armand that we have another day, another chance to live, another day to be a blessing sa mga kasamahan natin because alam mo maraming natulog, hindi na nagising, no? We are in a crisis now. It's a health and economic crisis. So There are things that we, we, within your control and there are things not within your control. So, yung pagbili ng bahay is also within your control. So, yung mga news na nakikita nyo, wala ka naman magagawa doon. Kung ilan ang uh, COVID today, kahapon, wala ka magagawa doon eh. But planning your life is something that you have to do it the soonest. And I believe, no, um, Arman, itong sinishare natin, it's a wake-up call for everyone because I believe that there's really... Uh, an opportunity that are there pero hindi nila ina-avail dahil meron siguro silang uh, hindi pa ma-define kasi kailangan mo muna to uh, consolidate all yung resources mo no? uh, in terms of mga need, in terms of mga kailangan mo so yan yung mga bagay na kailangan nating ma-resolve no? uh, next, uh, so you can see the first home, second home and retirement home, dito sa ating first home, second home reti- uh, retirement home Maraming iba-iba. Yung first home natin, it's a choice kung gusto mong um, kung anong area, no? So, sa second home mo naman, kung gusto mo namang resist the urge to impulse buy, meron kasing pwede mong, yung, num- yung first home mo, hindi naman mawawala yun. Eh. It can come with an, it will become an investment. So, pwede mo paupahan. So, may magiging income generating, no? So, state of uh, home buying this pre-pandemic, to be honest, there's a lot of buyers Uh, are really uh, buying kasi mga ibang nasa condo they wanted to move out sa house and lot no is alam naman natin eh lahat tayo no choosy tayo we wanted the best we wanted the lowest lahat ng mga best negotiation so it's always our skill of negotiating ano pa explain daw ulit yung buyers market and sellers market okay it's a, always a supply and demand no armand no ibig sabihin pag may demand kagaya dati lahat ng malapit sa university may demand ng ano ng mga dorm no so meron tayong demand sa mga ano so pagka sellers market the buyer can uh, ano exercise no so they ano to to purchase no kasi may supply and demand eh ibig sabihin pagka konti yung supply ikaw lang nagbebenta medyo uh, pwede kang mag-firm sa price mo no So, pero the other way around, kung marami ka naman choice, dahil marami nagbebenta, konti naman ang buyer, syempre the buyer can exercise the best negotiation. Yun yung sinasabi natin na difference ang buyer's market and seller's market. It's May advantage ang buyer pag buyer's market. Yes, tama, tama. Kasi uh, siya yun, ano, may marami siyang choices eh, para mamili eh. So, marami mga pwede kasi alam mo, itong pandemic, ano, Armand, it, uh, it gives a lot of shift to everyone. A shift in the decision making, shift in wealth, no? Shift in a lot of things. No? So, okay. 
So this pandemic proves that there are office jobs that can be done remotely or work at home. Ito challenge kasi din to sa atin, Arman, eh, no? Yung dating yeah. dati nag office ka, hindi ka na nag office work from home na, no? So you save yeah. already the time to travel. So especially yung mga work that can really be accommodated by work from home. So you start to first with your budget. How much you plan to buy, no? From there you draw what are the choices. You might wanted something, but it's not within your budget. Let's work something that is realistic. Iba yun idealistic, iba yun realistic. It's ideal for us na dito ang gusto natin. Pero realistically, what is the bottom line? So it's always right for us to really go back and to check what are the things necessarily. No, natin na i ano gawatay ng checklist. Out of the ten, we have eight. So you have to come up with your family decision. You have to start scouting. Then after scouting, you have to shortlist. From shortlist, you have to decide and you have to do your best bargain. Negotiating power mo, yan. No? Kasi yung property management natin is also part of yung ating uh, lifestyle already. Kasi it's not only the duty of a property management, but everyone has a responsibility in doing this property management. Even at home, in a condominium, in anything na ano. Kasi meron tayong ganito na business unusual. So I think uh, these are the things that from property management kasi medyo malaki din yung scope. The reason I wanted to share because once you purchase a property, especially if it's a condo, you will be dealing with property management. In the scope of the property management, medyo nandiyan. They have to handle all the administration, the contract management, the accounting and financial management, engineering. Kung halimbawa meron bang bigla na wala na hindi nag-function yung elevator, yung generator, no? Yeah. Yung security yeah. and safety management din natin. Importante dahil because uh, a lot, uh, syempre, security is our priority, no? Yan. I think uh, these are just more on the basic organization of a property management. The reason why I wanted to share with you, you have to be conscious on the project that you are going to get. Kasi pag very lax, no? yun property management hindi siya strict no medyo marami kayo magiging problema kasi in terms of security in terms of housekeeping in terms of a lot of things no so i think this is also something to uh ano to be uh, addressed yan thank you thank you dr mary uh, very very nice brief presentation pero uh, covers everything ano uh, from an individual for their personal use in different phases of their lives uh, hanggang uh, to office and probably kung merong may pera get into investments uh, office building pero na, na, I got struck dun sa property management actually miski na sa sarili kong bahay may property management na ginagawa eh di ba? Exactly kasi yun ano natin pag sanitize natin yung mga dis- disinfection natin that already goes with our lifestyle na eh. hindi na pwedeng wala yes. kasi these are something that we have to really be careful, no? So, sa property management, ganun din. In every little, ano, there's a property management, even office, even if it's a condominium, it's a residential subdivision, it's a high-rise in an industrial complex, and the uh, uh, theme park, mga shopping mall, hospital, parking, ano, lahat yan may property management. Yun ba ang way para continuous na tumaas yung value ng property may be a residential or a commercial uh, property it is not really the main key to command for a higher value but you can maintain the value itself because you can be proud that the property management handling that project is something that is strict no meron talaga mga pamamaraan na ginagawa niya meron silang regular fire drill earthquake drill meron silang mga uh, scheduling ng waste uh, disposal nila, meron silang sanitation day. Yung uh, My Hometown, it helps home buyers, tama ba? Yes, ang My Hometown is to cater yung buy and sell, no? Yung lahat ng real estate activity. But the rehab are more on uh, allied services, like I have my engineering department to, uh, to attend if there's a technical issue. Uh, I have my property management to handle yung mga property uh, na hawak namin. We have the legal department to handle some legal issues and we also oh. have yung mga uh, leasing documentation kunyari sa transfer ng title no sa pangalan ng uh, 
uh, anak o sa may nabili kayo, you want us to check the due diligence. And especially this coming June 14, uh, let me take this chance to uh, inform again all our viewers that yung estate natin, no? yung amnesty will oh, end. Oh, yes. June. Yeah. So, it will end by June 14. So, sa mga merong mga uh, kamag-anak na nagdesi- namatay, na hindi nyo pa nailipat sa pangalan ng mga tagapagmana, I think it's best time for you to avail. Malaki yung difference. It's almost uh, three-fourth yun amount ng savings that you can be saved sa estate tax. Wow, wow, wow. Ito yung hango or coming from the new law, no? Trama ba, Dr. Mary? Yes, yes. The, the, yeah. This was already extended. Uh, supposedly, last December dapat yun, na uh, nag ano, it's already extended until this June 14. Dr. Mary, yung uh, uh, rehab, piti ba con- uh, contracting? Kinari, magpapa-construct ako ng, uh, uh, kay- kailangan ko ng contractor, kailangan ko ng someone to build it. Ako lang yung may lupa, uh, OFW ako, marami tayong OFW na nanonood. Gusto ko magkaroon ng 4, 6, 8 door apartment. Uh, yung isa doon, yun na yung titiran ng pamilya ko, back for good ako. Wala akong kilalang contractor. Yung desente, yung titingin ng mga permits ko. Sa rehab ako pupunta, ganun ba? Yes, uh, we have some uh, accredited, no? ang tawag lang natin doon, mga accredited mga contractor that we can give you um, a recommendation. Then up to you, syempre, to talk directly with them. What are the common problems or challenges for first-time buyers at paano dapat ang pananaw nila? So ako uh, Arman tingin ko dito no isa sa mga gusto kong uh, maging aware ang ating mga viewers kasi normally ganoon pag may project sasabihin niya ito yung down payment ito yun ano approved na yan ng bangko yun yung word na approved na ng bangko tandaan natin there's two side na chine-check ng bangko the project itself and your capacity to pay ang problem minsan a lot of agent or brokers are saying Oh, approved na yan ng banko, 20% down, 80% loanable sa banko. So, ikaw naman, wala naman problema, nabuo mo naman yung 20%, but the 80%, you were banking that the bank will finance. Yun yung inaasahan mo na banko yung magpifinance. But at the end of the day, hindi pala na-disclose sa'yo na baka meron kang credit card issue, baka meron kang... Oh. Issue, ano. So, yung 20% mo, dahil hindi ka makapag-avail ng bank loan, because of some issues pertaining to your credit line, no? So, hindi mo ma-avail. The 20% magiging forfeited ng developer. Iyan yung isa sa mga challenges na nakikita ko. And of course, sabi mo nga kanina, Armand, that it is right for us na uh, to complete no the whole story. Hindi lang yun, enough lang yun, kaya lang natin tong i-sustain yung 20%. But we have to check the whole financial flow natin, no? So, it's always right for you to engage with a licensed real estate broker. It will be our third time buying a home. Is an old house which is renovated. Uh, to know na malaki ang gastos sa renovation. Yung second naman ay modern one, fully furnished na din, but there are parts na hindi namin nagustuhan. So for our third time po, what can you suggest po? Should we come up with our own plans or designs po ba? or pagbibili naman ng fully furnished, what are the things to consider po when having or making a decision? Given the budget, given may area kang ini-spot, it is always right for you to build your own house kasi medyo tailor fit yan. Parang wala yung pinagkaiba sa RTW at saka sa talagang nagpa nagpatahi ka talaga no so ibig sabihin ko ano yung kailangan mo need assessment mo lahat nandoon uh, building a house is not easy uh, kukuha ka ng tamang arkitekto tamang contractor that can play with you in your team ano po daw mas maganda bumili ng gawa na fully furnished o magpapagawa ako from scratch kung you ha- you don't have the luxury of time no given this new normal syempre mas maganda yun move in ka na, hindi ka na may stress, ready na yon. Pero ikaw, kung tipong ikaw yun medyo maselan, ayaw mo nang may uh, hindi tama dun sa bahay, so magpapatayo ka talaga. Talagang dadaanan mo talaga yung hirap ng construction from the permit, up to the groundbreaking, up to the contractor, up to the engineer, up to the turnover, up to the finishing. So lahat yan. Kung ready ka sa ganun, 
ano, it's, it, alam mo, life is full of choice, eh, no? Talagang, yung tama sa'yo, maaring mali sa akin, may, may tama sa akin. So, may kanya-kanya, ano yun. So, again, decision making based on the need assessment of your personal, ano, uh, yung happiness level mo. Paano naman hindi yung home use? Paano naman kung real estate investing ang gusto kong pasukin? It's always right to invest. Dahil ang property, pag in-invest mo, hindi ka naman, hindi naman bababa yung value ng property eh. And given your money sa banko, it will not earn the same interest that you're expecting like before. Pero yung appreciation ng value, lalo-lalo na pag maraming earth movement doon sa area, nagkaroon ng highway doon, nagkaroon ng mga iba-ibang development doon na infrastructure, kasama ka doon sa ta- tataas ang level, level ng pricing. So, the investment is always a choice. No, it's always a decision. So, kung meron kang extra money, you park it in real estate. You will never go wrong. Papatulong ako sa Rehub and uh, Real Estate Hub at myhometown.ph. Check nyo po yung uh, website na yun. Ako, uh, ang dami nyo na makukuha from, from there alone. Dr. Mary, Mary, Mary Gao, thank you very much for the time. Uh, meron tayong part 2 ah, para doon sa mas malawak na real estate investing for closed properties daw, rentals daw, commercial buildings. Yung, ang dami na uh, comment. Uh, hanggang sa susunod, Dr. Mary Gao, your last word uh, sa ating uh, viewers ng Peaceabilities dito sa CBRC.tv. Okay, again, due to the interest of time, alam ko, the same problem tayo parate, Arman. In my show, it's always kulang na kulang talaga yung oras. But again, to all our viewers, I hope you were able to pick my brain. You were able to get something from me. And I'm here at your disposal for any services sa real estate na kailangan mo. You can call our office, uh, brokerage custodian, Ms. Loida Saginsin. Take note of the number, 0918. 847-3482 0918-847-3482 Alam mo, napakaraming uh, ano, component kasi ang real estate it will never ano, it's a, ano, and it's a joy in my heart to share with you. Again, Arman, thank you for inviting me. Thank you, thank you Dr. Mary Galso uh, this, It has been very enlightening um, Ayan, pakita natin yung uh, My Hometown .ph. Yan po ang sumusuporta mula noon nung nagkumpisa kami dito sa uh, CBRC.tv hanggang ngayon at sa mga susunod na araw. Dr. Mary Gao, so thank you very much. It has been uh, very interesting and uh, uh, a good learning session. Miskin na sa akin. Bye!